Legendary Journeys Space. Solar System, Earth, seven other major planets, their moons, and many small objects belong to the solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the inner planets made of rock and metal. They have few moons. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the outer planets. They are cold and have many moons, thick atmospheres, and rings made of tiny orbiting particles. Humans have only reached our moon, but robot missions have visited all the other planets. Little flaps, and if you pull this page out, you can see the entire solar system. Space pioneers. In the late 1950s, the two global superpowers, the United States and Soviet Union, began competing with each other in the so-called space race. The ultimate goal was to land a person on the moon. Initially, the Soviets took the lead. In 1957, they launched the world's first spacecraft, Sputnik 1, and sent a dog into space. But the greatest triumph came in 1961 when the Vostok 1 mission carried a cosmonaut, Soviet for astronaut, into orbit around Earth. The United States had not yet achieved this. In orbit, although the Soviet Sputnik 1 was an amazing achievement, it did nothing more than send out a constant radio signal. It was the launch of Telstar 1 in 1962 that showed what satellites could really do. For the first time, distant events and places could be made visible almost instantly to people in different parts of the world. By exchanging radio and television signals with stations on the ground, satellites have changed the way the world works. Today's sophisticated satellites can each relay thousands of signals at the same time. Wow. Moonship. By the late 1950s, the Soviet Union was still ahead of the United States in the race to reach the moon. The Soviet Luna 1 probe came close to the lunar surface. Luna 2 landed on it, and Luna 3 took pictures of the hidden far side. But it was the U.S. Saturn V rocket that finally gave the Americans the lead. In 1968, a Saturn V rocket took astronauts to orbit the moon and the next year to land on it. Exploring the moon. The space race was won by the United States on July 16, 1969, when the Apollo program succeeded in landing the first person on the moon. As he set foot on the dusty surface, astronaut Neil Armstrong marked the historic moment with the famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong and his fellow astronaut Buzz Aldrin had less than two hours to explore the moon before setting off for home. Five other successful missions followed, delivering 10 more astronauts to the moon's surface between 1969 and 1972. Even now, no one has traveled farther from Earth than these two Apollo astronauts did.
living in orbit. Space is a dangerous place to visit. Spacecraft crew need to be protected from solar radiation, extremes of heat and cold, and the lack of air to survive there. They must learn to live with weightlessness, and they also need to exercise frequently or their bones and muscles could weaken. The record for the longest human space flight is held by Soviet cosmonaut Valery Polyakov, who arrived at the Mir space station on January 8, 1994, and stayed for 437 days. During this time, he orbited Earth more than 7,000 times. Shuttle. The Space Shuttle was the world's first reusable spacecraft and the first craft in history to carry large satellites into space. Between 1981 and 2011, it transported crew and equipment to and from the International Space Station. It was also used as a base for making repairs to satellites. Five shuttles undertook space missions, the first being Columbia. A sixth shuttle Enterprise performed test flights in Earth's atmosphere. So there are more flaps and these pullouts actually go both ways. So there's lots of great information in this book. Walking in space. Space travelers sometimes have to leave their craft to do work outside in space. They may have to conduct scientific experiments, test new equipment, or make repairs. Connected to the craft by nothing more than a tether, they go on a spacewalk, or EVA, extra vehicular activity. Because the environment outside the craft is so hostile, spacewalkers have to wear space suits for protection. They also carry equipment that allows them to communicate with the rest of the crew. Near neighbors. Lying between our planet and the sun are Mercury and Venus, two of our nearest neighbors. Like Earth, they are fairly small, dense worlds made of metal and rock. But in other ways, they are not like Earth at all. Mercury has practically no atmosphere and Venus is baking hot. Mercury is so close to the sun that we cannot observe it easily, even with a telescope and the surface of Venus is always covered completely in thick, acidic clouds. Until spacecraft reached them, little was known about these two hot worlds. The first successful journeys, there were real voyages of discovery. The gas giants, journeys to the four distant outer planets of the solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, take many years. It was only when Voyager 2 reached them that the first good pictures became available. The outer planets, or gas giants, have cores of rock and ice surrounded by deep layers of liquid hydrogen and helium topped with a cloudy atmosphere. With no firm ground to land on, probes cannot touch down, but they have explored the atmospheres and landed on one of the moons. Exploring Mars. 
The idea that Mars might support life has intrigued people ever since early astronomers thought they could see huge areas of vegetation there. In the distant past, the planet had a thick atmosphere and surface water, so it would have been a much more hospitable place. Probes have searched for signs of life, but no vegetation or living creatures have yet been found. If life exists on Mars, it may only be in the form of microscopic germ-like organisms. modern missions. It's about 50 years since humans first ventured into space. Since then, astronauts and robot probes have taken part in many amazing journeys. In 2006, New Horizons blasted off on its nine-year voyage to Pluto. In 2011, Juno set off to study Jupiter, which scientists suspect contain a sea of liquid hydrogen 25 thousand miles deep. As other countries join the group of spacefaring nations, further voyages of discovery will reveal even more about the solar system and beyond. The end. I hope you enjoy this book.